Hey guys, it is Gina. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch my beauty room tour. So this is gonna be part one. So here is my beauty room. Oh, I just love it. Every time I come in here, it is so fun. I always have a smile. And yes, this room reflects my character. I love a lot of little gadgets, little things. I'm gonna be showing you in this video up close what I have on my vanity. And then I'm gonna do probably that Ikea pack system in part two. You guys, cause there's a lot going on. And then this will be probably part three, this one and this one. This is not going to be a makeup collection because it would be way, way, way too long. Um, but I do plan on doing an updated makeup collection soon again because it's been almost a year now. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where to start? You guys, this is a big beauty room. If you didn't know, this room is my master bedroom turned into my master beauty room. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, here is the room. I am so happy with it. As you can see, my room is pastel, mostly light pink. I just got a variety and you guys, I got a lot of stuff in this beauty room. So first thing, this is like an elephant in the room. This is a full size bed and it's a, uh, it's just beautiful. It's, it's a canopy bed, I guess is what they called it. I found this on Craigslist for 100 bucks. That was a steal. I just, it's kind of like a Victorian princess style bed and it's solid wood. It's heavy. It's just beautiful. It's kind of like an off white with a hint of kind of like yellow undertones in it or like warm undertone to an antique white I don't know they have these beautiful pillars on all four ends so that's what makes it a canopy bed I have this bed in here for my nieces when they come over we have slumber parties and it's just fun sometimes I put a cot down there and we just all have fun here with blankets and just do girly things in here. I will link this quilt down below, but you guys, this quilt is beautiful. It's called a bubble quilt. The Etsy shop is Dream Creative and Art. Y'all go check it out. These are custom made. You can choose your colors and everything. I totally recommend her shop. It is on Etsy, as I said, and yeah, I will link her shop down below. My first beauty room tour, I did not have this table I just added this table and it made it like a u-shaped vanity area when before it was just an L shape you know what I mean so all this is is a foldable portable table and uh, yeah I got that on on Amazon so I will link that down below I think it was like a hundred and twenty or something like that you know what I don't know where to begin okay Maybe we can start out with an overview, right? So let me just go ahead and do that.
Now I'm going to be showing you more in detail. So I do have the bed here and then I do have this little four drawer little nightstand thing. I think it was meant for like bathroom supplies because that's where I got it at at Home Goods, and it's real cute. I just it, it kind of it's it's narrow so it fit here perfect. Um, yeah, I just needed something that would fit here, and that was a great solution. I think I got it for I want to say forty nine ninety nine at Home Goods. So right here I do have some lotion from Soap and Glory. I got a Laneige sleeping mask. I got a little uh, alarm clock radio. Hello Kitty. I did purchase pre-owned on eBay. They, they always have a lot of these. Um, if you just type in uh, used or pre-owned Hello Kitty clocks, these are all going to pop up along with other ones too. So I have this little fan here I got from Walmart. I think it was... $8.99. It was so inexpensive. This light along with that one and that one I purchased on eBay. You're going to see a lot of these things you guys I get on eBay because they're they're a one of a kind. I like uniqueness to a product, to a beauty room. I just love to find something so unique, so different than what other people have and I think buying them at thrift stores, secondhand stores, even um, garage sales, yard sales, you can find some very unique pieces that you can integrate into your beauty space and it just brings more character I think to the space. So I love to do that. So other lights. So I do have this one that says dream and then I also have that one that says XOXO. So those I found at Home Goods. I believe that they were $19.99 a piece. So they do have an acrylic frame and then they have the the lights. They're USB powered. So I thought those were perfect spots for those ones. And then so I do have my iMac here. I get some questions about this little uh like sleeve for your computers. I do have another one over there for the monitor, the filming monitor. And that's just a TV. Basically, I use as my monitor. And uh, yeah, so I do have two of them. I did purchase it on Amazon. I will link those down below as well. Fairly inexpensive too. I think like $10, $12. So underneath that, I do have this pink clock. I love it. If there's something in pink... I always look on Amazon and just on Google and under the for sale tab like pink and then blah 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 whatever I'm looking for I type in the word pink and just random things pop up so yeah just a little tip there just always type the word pink in <laughs> in the beginning of whatever you're gonna whatever you're looking for so here I do have I'm going to tell you a lot of these are pre-owned acrylic pieces, so they're not easily accessible. You can't find them too easy. But yeah, so this one was on eBay pre-owned. And I just have, uh, you know, I love to collect makeup. So in every acrylic organizer, I do have lots of makeup. So just be prepared. This is a beauty room tour, so this is what you come here to see, right? <laughs> So yes, I do have makeup palettes in there. I do have lip glosses at the top, a couple of wet and wild setting sprays, just miscellaneous items. So I do have this little mic there. I forget what brand it is. I will link it down below. I do have my favorite Bath and Body Works lotion, which is the Raspberry Jam Donut. It was a holiday two years ago. And then I do have more. These are awesome little, I think these are Muji or the Container Store. It's one of those. Um, maybe the Container Store. So I love, love, love these little two drawer acrylic pieces there. The drawers slide out really, really nice on those. This one I found for $14.99 at Home Goods, and it just has this one little drawer at the bottom, and then just um, 
I have random things in there. Chapstick, lipstick, lip gloss, skin care, um, a foundation. What else? What else? So this little thing I found at the thrift store for a dollar. And it looks like a little, like a votive candle holder, you know. But of course I repurposed it and I'm using it for my Too Faced lip glosses. Or not glosses, um, liquefied longwear lipsticks. So I do have this little container that holds false lashes and I got that on Amazon so here's another one of those container store or Muji I, I I just can't think of it right now but this is the larger one two drawer larger one and and these are the smaller versions so here I do have th this is a Ray Dunn three-tier acrylic storage little tower and I just have um, just stuff that I use on the daily. I got some powder, loose setting powder there. I got, you know, this one I've been wearing recently. So this is Morphe 2 lip gloss. I got little, you know, toner, setting sprays. What else? So this, oh, you guys, this is so cool. This MTV, I grew up watching MTV yeah so i found this used pre-owned on ebay and i think it was like almost 40 dollars to me that's quite a bit but i've never seen anything like it when this popped up i'm like i have to have it look how cool it is so love that this is a vintage loose powder little container this one and this one and they're they're made out of celluloid or I don't know how to say it but I put my Cody Airspun powder in here which is my all-time favorite 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 powder more than a like high-end powders <laughs> so I have that easily accessible right there I am eating some watermelon but I have more of these containers store little two drawer acrylic drawer system so I, I just have a random variety of items that you know are just easily accessible here up on top of my vanity I do have these makeup brushes these are mostly eye brushes and this one I just recently picked up for $4.99 at I think it was TJ Maxx I even hauled it so it just says makeup brushes in hot pink I think that's cute I do have my Bose external computer speakers I did find those also on eBay, but these were like light new condition and this was silver and I painted it chalk paint pink, you know? So I th just think that made it look more girly. Okay, so moving on. So this, you guys, look how pretty this is. This was also made from the same company as the Dream Creative and Art that made the quilt she also makes these as well so look how beautiful I do you have i always try to have my hand sanitizers just within reach because i always sanitize my hands before i even put my toners creams foundation anything on i always sanitize my hands that's so important you guys make sure y'all have a hand sanitizer within reach on your vanity at all times Okay, so this one, I found this tower. It was an eyeglass display tower, and it was a guest brand one. And so what I did is I just painted this chalk white um, color because it was black in the beginning. And of course, I didn't want it to be like a sore thumb when everything is white. So I did paint it white, chalk paint. Um, and then I just put all my palettes in there. I have a lot of palettes, high-end drugstore, and yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. Don't you think? <laughs> so then here I do have my, it's just a regular small TV, and I use it to, when I film, I use it like a viewfinder in a way, just to make sure that I'm center and in focus when I'm holding items up to the camera and this is where I usually film right here I'll put my camera here and then yeah and then I just film away <laughs> so
So down here I have a five drawer. Now this one was from Muji. I bought this about 10 years ago. They are such good quality acrylic. It just, there's no warping to it, no nothing. So yeah, this is the five drawer Muji acrylic storage container. You guys, this was huge when YouTube just started. Everybody had these and they would stack them on top of each other. I just think these are such great quality. They're pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie. So I've warned you. <laughs> so I do have these little small containers that I did um, find pre-owned. So this one I found for, I think that was like a dollar fifty at my local thrift store. And then this one I found on eBay for like $5 plus, I think it was $4 shipping and handling. But look how beautiful the detail and the etched roses are on the acrylic. It arrived dirty, so I do have my plastic cleaner, you know, uh, acrylic cleaning thing. And it just made it look just brand new. It's beautiful. Okay, so here I do have this little tower I did find pre-owned on eBay. And it's very thick plastic. It's not necessarily acrylic. It is a plastic. But I love the way how heavy duty it looked. And it holds all my skincare. I'm huge on skincare. And I always like to have all my skincare within reach. My toners, my emulsions, my drops. Yeah, and I find this is a great way to store your skincare it's just it's great you know just easily accessible and i will never get rid of this little turntable lazy susan thingamajigger because it is just perfect so then here i do have this mirror here this vanity this vanity lighted mirror that i did purchase on amazon i will link it down below but uh these bulbs are not replaceable they do last for so many thousands and thousands and thousands of hours and I've had it for a few years and they haven't burned out. So um, yeah, I will link that one down below. Then I do have a couple more of these um, container store emoji two drawer systems right there. I do have most used makeup products here. And then I do have this one full of pencils, highlighters, just stuff to write with. I do have my Viva La Juicy The Floor perfume or spray. And then I do have this little tower I got on Amazon. I absolutely, totally recommend this. It's space saving. It's very narrow. I think it's about maybe four inches deep and about maybe 13 inches wide. And it's such a great find. It's fairly inexpensive. And I just hold all my foundations. I have a body spray here. I got my makeup brushes down here. It's just, it's so space saving, but yet it's just a beautiful piece as well. Can you see that? Just very crystal clear acrylic it's not foggy or anything like that and then here we do have some palettes so i do have some morphe palettes i got some natasha denona palettes these are older ones but you guys the powder products tend to last a long long time i do have a couple more palettes here cara beauty i got Zyme Beauty and this one's a fairly new one. I have not used it yet, but look how beautiful. I did do some swatches on a recent haul. Um, so if you want to go check out my latest haul, I think it was, it's the TJ Maxx one. I want to check that out. Um, I do have these acrylics. Now these ones I did buy on eBay as well. And they are made for phlebotomists so blood work test tubes and stuff like that that's what these are for they are very 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 thick acrylic these were not cheap um i think i got them for 75 to 85 dollars a piece and i have one two 
and three of them. But, you know, I don't even know the brand of these, you guys, to tell you the truth. Um, oh, no, I'm lying. I think one of them does have a sticker to it. Now, Jean, I want to say. Oh, it's at the bottom. I think it's now Jean. But, yeah, I've tried looking on, like, nowjean.com or something like that, and I cannot find where these are brand new. So I'm still on the hunt to see what site sells these brand new, but I have yet to find it. On the top of these, I do have, like, you know, little um, Victoria's Secret body sprays, uh, travel sprays. I got little perfumes. I just got, you know, a little variety of things. Look at this thing. This is cool. So this I found, I think it's like a vintage piece. Um, of course, pre-owned on eBay. Love that. Just so neat. And then a few other pieces. I got my Ariana Grande perfume. I got a little fun little mirror. It's from the brand Skinny Dip. I found this at Marshalls, I believe, for $5.99. Recently, I just picked this up. This is from Ray Dunn. These are makeup sponges. These are very soft, by the way. And then this little turn carousel lip gloss holder. Well, of course, you can put anything in there, but I used it for lip glosses because you can see through here, and it's. I think that's pretty cool. So this was, I think, maybe like $9.99 at Home Goods. So then here I do have this Hello Kitty. I think this is so adorable. I found this on Amazon, but it's just a little wipey holder. So you can refill it. And yeah, the only thing I do think is it's not very secure here. So the top one always seems to dry out pretty quick. But after, after you take the top one off, then it's moistened. You know, the ones below it. So... There's not a good enough suction to this, so just beware, you know, if you do pick one up. So this one is a little miniature tissue holder, and it's vintage. It's like that gold. Um, so yeah, this was pre-owned on eBay. And, you know, I just have this tiered thing pre-owned on eBay with some palettes in there. I do have... My prettier palettes, I'm not going to lie, up here. So I have like a lot of Too Faced. I got Tarte. I got BH palettes here. I got more like Lippies up here. MAC, Shiseido. These are from the Dollar Tree City Color. And they're really nice on the lips. Um, I do have some Milani lipsticks. Here, let me get a little closer for you guys. I do have one Urban Decay lipstick. I just got a variety of lip products there. And then here I found this one also on, it was like, like new on eBay. I have no clue where to find these. I have been looking in on Google and just everywhere, typing in different words in the search engine and I cannot find this little turn carousel I think it was meant for postcards like countertop acrylic postcard holder you know something like that um it's just beautiful I love this piece and then let's see I have like this I found at home goods for probably like $7.99 it is porcelain or ceramic and I have more lippies there and then this little piece um I found a thrift store, I think, for like $2. So it's just like, a, I think they're made for napkins, I want to say. So I just put some palettes there. Okay, so this right here, I have a little end cap. And I was, I didn't really know what to put in this area. So I just put this little wooden piece that I, I've had forever. And I just chalk painted it pink. And so here I do hold my SL Miss Glam makeup brushes and they're just beautiful to look at. So I wanted to showcase them in this thing, which I got used on eBay. And I chalk painted it this color too, because it was black. Then I have two Ray Dunn on either side of that with more makeup brushes. And then I have a lot of books right here. You guys, this is a cool idea. If you have a space that you're looking Okay, what do I put here? What do I fill this little space in? Get 
books from thrift stores. You can totally find books of all shades, colors, heights and everything and then you can make it like a little theme like a little focal point of a little area so i decided to go to different thrift stores and get all the pastel colored books i can find and this is what i came up with isn't that beautiful they kind of remind me of makeup palettes you know since this is a beauty room like it's it's fitting <laughs> so yeah i think that's pretty cool down here i do have we almost fell down here, I do have ceramic little uh, cupcakes. I totally forgot where I got those. Okay, so what else? So I do have this little rug that I got at Ross for, I think it was $35.99. And it is so soft. It's just from the rug section, the carpet section. And yeah, at Ross, not bad. So down here, I do have a little fridge. The brand is right there Yida Yida motor that's the brand I love how you can open the top separate from the bottom so you don't have to open the entire fridge I think this is a 15 liter if I'm not mistaken and then I have a lot of things at the bottom it is a lot of junk I'm not gonna lie but yeah so there's just a lot to go through but just a little overview I have my toners, my things that I need to reach for easily, I have in this area. So, yeah, I just have, like I said, I'm not going to go into an in-depth makeup collection. That's going to be on a totally different video. I just want to show you my layout and, like, you know, just an overview of where I got things. <clears throat> my voice is going out, you guys. I may have to do a part two. I don't know. Let's see if I can pull it through. Okay, so up on the wall, I do have these set of four acrylic wall shelves, I guess. And I do have my SL Miss Glam brush book sets um, displayed up there. I love the pastel colors of them. They are so fitting for my beauty room. And yeah, so all the colors in my beauty room reflect those books. And then in the middle, I do have this. This was from Z Gallery, I want to say, for like $350 or something. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but it's ceramic faux deer head. And it is large. It is huge. It's a main focal point as soon as you enter my beauty room. And I love it. So here I have these protruding little floating white shelves, I guess. Um, yeah, I have those there. They're pretty long, too. I think they're like... 50 inches wide and it's two pieces and then I have little ones here too so I I'll try my best to find those on on uh, not eBay Amazon and I will link them down below if I do find them hopefully I will okay what else so on uh, yeah on these shelves I do have just you know uh miscellaneous little cutesy things you know I just have it's mostly decoration you know, and I do have lights also there, like strip lights that I did pick up on Amazon. What else? I do have my ring light when I film. I have another ring light here. Both of them are purchased on Amazon, but you can't find the oval one anymore. I've tried looking for the oval one to put here, but instead I found this round one here. See? Okay, this is definitely going to have to be a part two maybe part three to my beauty room tour because it, there's a lot going on yeah so what do i have down here so i have another little vanity stool so when my niece comes over when we get ready in the mornings she has her little spot and then i have mine i have my little tablet right there what else i have my trash can there i did pick up at home goods i do have this is cool look guys this one I picked up on eBay too, pre-owned, but it was like a store display kind of thing. And they just come out like that. I think they used it for beef jerky or something like that. But yeah, these fit a lot of stuff. I got powders. I just, I just think it's a cool here. Let me see if I move this, you can see it. 
So I couldn't take this off. This was not removable, but there were other little signs that I did take off, but it is such a cool little countertop acrylic display thing. Like I love that. Oh, and here's another one too. I don't know if you can see it well, but it has little rollers. It's a two tier acrylic cart, like rolling cart. I love it. This was 175, I think. I will link it down below. I always see it for sale on Amazon. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, I just got a lot going on. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm definitely going to have to do a part two and possibly a part three because I just have a lot going on. I'm going to give you an overview of what's behind here. There's just tons, you guys. And I want to go in depth, but I know that this video is already like 45 minutes long. Please stay tuned for part two and three. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for part two and three of my beauty room tour. And I do hope that you did enjoy. And you guys, don't forget to like, comment, uh, share my videos. Subscribe if you love to watch beauty content and yeah, I'd love to have you join my family. We are growing. It's been a fun journey because of y'all. Y'all keep me motivated. So yes, thank you for that and I will see you on the next one. Bye.